Well, I think today is the day. I just filled up my tank and I am on my way to Wisconsin. Cheese country. So I, appropriately, I got myself a cheese Danish. I am going to look at my, possibly my new van. Yeah. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I want you, want you. <laughs> yep, I want this new van really, really bad because it will allow me to carry so much more in my travels. And not that I'm gonna carry any more. <laughs> I'm just not gonna carry. I just don't wanna have to carry any less. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I'm on my way to the Ford dealer. It's early. Yep, it's early. Well, not that early, but early for me because, you know, I don't usually get up early. I don't usually get up before 9 o'clock. I'm on my way. Let me get my GPS up here. Today and not tomorrow. Hopefully it'll open up this summer. So when I'm driving, 
it seems I, you know, I'm always trying to make sure that I'm keeping up and I try to watch people's videos and, you know, and uh, be a good neighbor, be a good neighbor nomad. So I was just watching the video of Dana and Steve renovating their tiny house and as I did, was watching the my Garth Brooks song came on and I thought two of a kind working on the full tiny house <laughs> it's looking good everybody's getting ready for summer and spring and they're either they're all getting ready everybody's getting ready for summer and spring the nomads getting their house is ready, getting their rigs all cleaned out and ready for summer so they can enjoy their summer. Yep. Or building out time. So I'm really, really hoping that Jamie's going to do that uh, van build in, in Indiana. I did cross over the state line. I am in Wisconsin. car dealer. This is the first time in my life I've ever gone to another state to look for a car or look for a vehicle. You know, people do it all the time. So she jumped over this thing into here, way down into there. Unbelievable. That little monkey, instead of squeezing through the side like she does over here. Go Getting ready to go into the Ford dealer and go see the van. Oh, keep your fingers crossed that this is my van. I really need this. I really do. Danny's over there checking out all the cars in the parking lot. Hey, everybody. So, I am in the car. I'm in the van. And they're actually they're actually letting me take it up by myself for a drive. Not that I know anywhere where I'm at. But here we go. I'm going to take it for a ride. Oh, that noise sounded funny, but... Here we go. I should have adjusted the mirrors. I will. I'm going to pull up. And there's it in back of me. So I'm just going to take it for a ride down here. Um, around the block, etc. And see what it's like. This one actually has heated seats. And they are cloth seats. And I hate cloth seats. But, you know, what are you going to do? The leather costs more money. Here I go, driving down the road here. Um, like I said, it has heated seats. Yep, there, look at the big window. Oh, you guys can come with me around everything. I'll take you along on the big window. Okay, so this is the deal. Okay, so I'm back in the car and I loved it, the van and I wanted it and I would have bought that van, but they didn't want to budge on the price and they didn't want to give me anything up on my car I mean they didn't even want to give me the blue book value for my car and my car is in excellent condition and uh, even with my mileage they were trying to rip me off of about three grand on a trade-in and I still would have you know been upside down but either way they didn't even want to give me what Kelly Blue Book said it was worth on a trade-in after and I think they thought that because I was driving so far that I was just gonna take this car and there's no way I was gonna you know not take it and I was ready to do a deal but that's not how it works um, I originally also had another vehicle about an hour and a half away from this dealership in Wisconsin that was six thousand dollars less than the one I went to go look at today six thousand less and these people were not willing to budge or we're not giving discounts on it we're not i said well i'm going i'll go to the other dealership so i'm on my way to the other place the only thing i'm not sure of on this other vehicle is the size of the gas tank it's either 25 or 31 gallons well 25 if it's a 25 gallon tank that's still 
seven gallons less, I mean, seven gallons more than my Explorer, you know? And seven gallons is 70 more miles because that's it's saying I get 10 miles to the gallon towing. Right now I get 11. So it's a V6 EcoBoost, which will give me better, good, good or better mileage. Okay, so I'm on my way to the other dealership, and it's a car day. It's a, it's a, uh, I'm on a mission. Hopefully this is it, and I'm going to go home with a car. Or it's a, a new van, or it's going to be a disappointing three-hour three drive home. Okay, everybody, I got my new van. Look at this. They got windows in the back. I'm so excited. And boy, did I get a better deal than the first place I went to. And not only that is, I did give up a few luxuries, but you know what? I don't need those luxuries. So we're on our way home, putting our seatbelt on. And I'm driving home in my new brand new spanking new van my new mortgage you know Danny is sitting by my side on the ground because there's nothing in the back for her to sit on right now oh I should fix my mirrors good morning rebel watchers and our and the youtubers I am on my way to Ikea <coughs> To go pick up a few things that I need and um, yeah so I got a light that turned on on here that I have no clue what it's for it's got an A with a circle around it but I'll figure it out I'm still learning what everything is I also got a uh, like a thing on here where I can my car will turn off when I'm at the stoplight. In one point three miles, turn right to merge onto I three fifty five south toward Joliet. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, Abby came with me. She's in the van taking a ride. Danny's at home because I'm going to IKEA. And um, we'll see. So I'm at Ikea, and there's actually a line to get in here. Do you believe that one? I don't know. I've only been here once before. We'll see. But I got my cart before I went in. Okay, folks, here it is. Okay? it's What I really like about this van is the walls, uh, the material on the walls. But I am going to have to take it down, which is not hard to do, um, and insulate underneath it especially for sound. Now, I found out what these three things were for up on the ceiling. They are for sound. And you could buy a package of these sound things, Halifax, I don't know what it's called, for sound. And you could put them all over in all the little nooks and crannies underneath this board. And I watched another couple do that. But I'm going to put insulation in there. So I don't need that. I'm going to put insulation in there. Um, I like this mat on the floor. And there is like um, like a fiber uh, filling thing underneath there. See, underneath that. But they still, it, it's kind of tucked in, but it still doesn't fill up the spaces between the slits that go down the floor, as you probably would have seen in an empty cargo van. So you can feel like this little wave of stuff. Um, I'm gonna leave that. I'm not gonna, because I'm gonna put a little piece of carpet. I'm just gonna put a little area carpet on top of it. I like this because actually, I this is easy to maintain, to wipe it down with um, a, you know, a wet um, swisher, you know, floor wiper, you know, floor mop, not a mop, but you know. And then if you armor all it, the armor all keeps all this stuff from sticking to it. And that's what I used to do in my police car, in my squad car. 
you know and all that loose stuff like sand and stuff will not stick to it if you get a good coat of armor or armor all on there so um yeah i like this boarding on the wall i don't know I'm not going to be putting a lot of stuff on my walls or cabinets on the top. At least not right now. I don't need it. I'm making a den. Mine is not going to actually be living quarters. Although I have bought these mattresses or their cushions for a uh, a bunk, you know, to put a bed in here to sleep on. And that could be like if I just want to go on an overnight and not take my whole camper with me. Or if I decide to go to Canada. When I go to Canada, I wouldn't, don't have to bring my whole trailer. I'll just rough it and bring the van and it'll be less uh, gas money for me, you know? So that's what I'm going to do here. I still got to get swivels. I want to get swivels for the front two seats to turn around. But right now, one thing at a time, this is what it looks like for now. And I want to get seat covers for my seats because I don't like cloth. I'm so happy that I did not get that first van for $10,000 more. To me, that was a ripoff. Those people were just saw a sucker written on my forehead, but they didn't know who they were dealing with. <laughs> love the back camera and love the windows. I really wanted windows anyway. Oh, I knew I forgot something. I'm going to go get, I need to get magnets. I really wanted the windows, you know, and I already have um, no see -em screen i don't know how much i got left though but i also have a, a mosquito net that i bought at um blames farm and fleet which would be perfect right here if i wanted to keep the back windows open and i'm just so excited about this and i've always had little van mv a little oven mv but i'm going to have the best of both worlds so today i went to uh, ikea as I mentioned, I, and oh my gosh, it was a madhouse in there. But I did get, I mean, for a total of $300, I have gotten my cabinet that I'm making gonna be my closet. And it's gonna be just the right size, four feet high. So I'm not gonna have to worry about it tipping and falling over. And I'm gonna have space in here to put my generator, my bicycle, my grill, uh, and the Danny stroller. I'm gonna be good to go. And then I'm going to have the little bed. I'm going to have my dresser. I mean, my uh, closet and a sitting area to watch movies. My den. It's the den. The den. Not the ding, the dung, like Law and Order. You know the song, you know, Law and Order? They do the doom, that noise. That's this, the den. But <laughs> I know you think I'm crazy. But here I go. I got to get this thing in to the van. And I still have lots of stuff. I got to go to my storage shed yet today. I spent so much time in Ikea. It was crazy. Oh, um, I'll show you what I'm going to do and how I'm going to put this bed in. I'm not going to have to build it out. I got these slats that I watched a lot of videos on where you just mount the whole bracket here and you put this these slats in and you're done. No building out a bed. You'll see. You have to stay tuned for my future videos. Okay, first project is going to be insulate these walls. There's no insulation behind these boards. So I'm going to insulate behind there. Now, if you didn't like the board and you, or, and you just wanted to replace it with paneling or something else, this would be a good pattern to use because once you take this board off, all you need to do is lay that on your paneling and cut out the, all the holes. And you could use the little snap pieces without nailing it. You don't have to nail it in. Just use the little snap pieces to put it right back into place with your paneling. It's really easy to do. And I'll show you what to do. They already have it all cut out. And, and look at that. It's all cut out. Don't mind all the light. But it's all shaped and fitted for you. Including this strip inside here to keep it fit underneath back here you know, right in here for the gap. Now you see these little things here? All you have to do is pop this sucker out, okay? See this screwdriver type curved thing? You know, you just stick it in the little pop size here and it'll... Okay, 
try this again. You see, I'm going to pop this out. So I stuck it out here. In here, it pops this out. And then once you get that done, you just stick it underneath the back and pop it out the rest of the way. You see? And go all the way around without damaging the board. Hopefully I won't damage the boards. And if for some reason you damage this little thing, you could buy another one. See, you could buy a whole plastic baggie. Look at that, it comes right out. See, and you can push it right back in when you want to put the board back in. And if you, you can push it right back in and just take that out like that. So once you get all those out, you can take off the, take the board off. I got them all right here in a little bowl so I don't lose them, you know? And then I've done them all the way around and then all I gotta do is take this thing off. Oops, and it'll come right off. Mm. See? And they have the plastic thing in here to take up the, the little area that's loose. So now I can fill this in with the insulation and I can also drill holes in here to attach my brackets for my bed. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down